But I returned to New York in um, 1959. I started to teach at Pratt Institute. By this time, Mercedes, who was also teaching at Pratt, had uh, invited a group of artists to draw uh, from the model in her house in McDougal Alley. And this group met every Sunday night, uh, composed mostly of artists that were teaching at Pratt. And uh, we worked for six hours straight. Everyone worked in their own way. There was never any discussion. Everyone was polite and tried not to look at the work of the others. Uh, usually from, we drew usually from 6 p.m. to midnight. And Mercedes had a collection of Indian saris, uh, translucent rectangles of silk and pastel colors that she scattered over a heap of pillows for the models uh, to pose on. Uh, usually there were two models posing together. And I immediately saw the models on the draperies as I had seen the rocks on Deer Isle, and I drew them the same way. Well, this is a single model. Two models. This drawing group went on for quite a few years. It uh, sort of kept morphing. Different people left, others joined, and we met in a variety of locations later on. But there was something about drawing uh, the way Mercedes set it up in her living room initially uh, that almost made it seem like a religious rite. The artists were the worshipers and the, uh, the models were the objects of worship on the altar. And of course, Mercedes was the priestess in charge. And then I began painting from these drawings that I made in the, uh, the group. Well, I've been showing uh, drawings that went, go spread over a long period of time here. Uh, I finally left the group because I needed more and more time to develop the drawings. And uh, this one was done, in, well, a long time later, in 1978. And uh, it's the way I've been drawing ever since. <laughs> <laughs>